a NASA scientist investigates a series of mysterious mass deaths. It's like a scene from a horror movie. There was no signs of panic. Whatever killed these people crept up. It surprised them. He discovers evidence of a deadly phenomenon that threatens millions of lives. Will this avert a catastrophe? Only time will tell. August 21st, 1986, Cameroon. A farmer returning to his home on the shores of Lake Nios makes a grim discovery. He enters the village and he can tell immediately something is very, very wrong. The entire village is silent. It's like a scene from a horror movie. There are countless dead bodies strewn about. When government investigators arrive on the scene, they find hundreds of dead bodies and just six survivors. All told, once counted, the death toll reaches 1,800. Medical teams discover that many of the victims have strange burn marks on their skin. The corpses of thousands of animals also litter the countryside. People are asking, is, is this an act of terrorists? Is this biological warfare? The chilling incident becomes known as the Lake Niles disaster. The pressure's on for investigators to figure out what's going on. People are demanding answers. Ex-NASA volcanologist and international disaster expert, Haralder Sigurdsson has a theory. Two years earlier, he investigated a similar incident near Lake Monau, just 60 miles to the south. I visited the site where the fatalities have been found. 37 people lying along a road. And on the way to the market, they met this fate. Just like the Lake Niles incident, many of the dead displayed strange burn marks on their skin. The first step in Sigurdsson's investigation was to take samples of the lake for chemical analysis. When I was hauling the bottle up, I saw that there was a tremendous volume of gas streaming out of the bottle. His analysis of the water from Lake Monau revealed something disturbing. I leaned over and I smelled the gas and it was odorless, odor-free. I realized that this was probably pure carbon dioxide. In high concentrations, carbon dioxide is an invisible killer, starving the body of oxygen and suffocating victims within minutes. I decided to get off the lake right away because I realized that the lake might be saturated in CO2. Sigurdsson theorized the bed of Lake Monown was loaded with carbon dioxide. Something possibly a seismic event, disturbed the lake bed, releasing a cloud of the toxic gas which suffocated the villagers. But at the time, the scientific community rejected his radical theory. They found that this was such an outrageous idea, it shouldn't be published. The Lake Niles deaths two years later force investigators to reconsider Sigurdsson's work. They invite him back to Cameroon to help solve the mystery. Sigurdsson searches the shores of the crater lake and soon discovers evidence to support his CO2 theory. There was clear evidence of a landslide that had taken place there from the bank of the, of the crater. Sigurdsson and his fellow scientists suspect that this landslide triggered an explosive release of 300,000 tons of lethal carbon dioxide trapped in the lake bed. It's just like opening the can of soda. You shake it up, release the pressure, and all of a sudden that CO2 will come out of the water just like out of your soda can. The massive cloud of CO2 swept through local villages at over 50 miles per hour killing almost every animal and human in its path. It was this deadly, invisible cloud spread through the village, 
Nobody would have seen it. Nobody would have known it was there. Sigurdsson's theory also explains the burn marks on the victim's body. When you release a tremendous volume of gas from a high pressure to a low pressure, basically the result is refrigeration. You get a very cold cloud of, of gas. So the possibility exists that all of these lesions were, in fact, frostbite. Frostbite in Africa, amazing. Scientists fear that the killer lake phenomenon could soon strike again. NASA's Earth imaging satellites play a key role in efforts to prevent future catastrophes. NASA's MODIS instruments attached to the Terra and Aqua satellites are giving us unique insights into the mechanisms that can cause disasters like we've just seen. In 2016, MODIS data reveals something alarming in the waters of Lake Kivu in Central Africa. The clear blue water of the lake is turning a milky white. It's almost sinister. Could there be another event about to happen? Scientists calculate that the lake holds 500 million tons of CO2, 800 times more than Lake Nyos. Kivu is potentially the perfect storm. Its dense population means that millions of lives could be at risk. Efforts to identify other killer lakes are ongoing. It leads to a grim question, where and when might this happen again?